Best place to get tackled the beach. Go in. Looks like he's helping someone right now. Oh. I need some of those. I was trying to find some today. Oh, these are live too. Definitely picking some of these up. I'm gonna be uh, fishing from the uh, surf tomorrow. Do you have any recommendations on bait? Uh, blood worms. They're catching kingfish out there. Kingfish? Oh, bugs, oh, rigs oh, like what you see right here. Curious. Okay. The other thing would be fresh bunker. And a little bluefish. Everything's small right now. Right, off the beach, you can catch that stuff. Well, uh -huh. you can't and at night time, the big way. stuff comes out. Sharks. The sharks come out. Mm -hmm. Probably won't be doing too much night fishing, but uh, I'll go with uh, the bloodworms, bunker, some of these rigs. Mm -hmm. Does the sand fleas catch anything? In the inlet at night, they use them. They float them. They catch stripers. Gotcha. Okay. The bloodworm you want to use on those rigs. All right. Uh, for the bunker, I'd use a bluefish rig. Getting hooked up here. As you know, I know nothing about saltwater fishing, so these guys know what they're talking about. Appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. I only rig, fish freshwater, really. Rig like that there. All right. Chunk of that. You have sinkers? Yeah, I got a two ounce, uh, probably one, two, and three ounce is what I have. Is that heavy enough? Usually, if we get that offshore we'll swell from the storm, you might have to go to a four. So a couple fours, then, if you could. <laughs> That'd be great. Thank yeah. you. Parallel 2317. Alright, thanks very much. Yeah, mm -hmm. There we go. You're Thanks for help. Hopefully I can catch a couple fish tomorrow. Okay, good luck. Take My fate now rests in the hands of Old Inlet Bait and Tackle. I'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Made it to the beach. I've been out here for about an hour or so. I already caught one fish. I'll show it to you in uh, one second after I show you the rigs I'm using. The bait I got of these uh, blood worms. And I've got some uh, fresh bunker. I'm rigging that up on uh, two different rigs. The ones that uh, that Jim hooked me up with. I gotta wash the tide, it's coming in right now. I don't know what they call this rig, but uh, it's got two floating hooks and I'm using a three ounce weight on the end of one. So that's what I caught the uh, fish on so far. And I'm rigging this one up with blood worms. The other rig looks pretty similar. Two bobbers, uh, weight on the bottom, four ounces. And the hook's slightly bigger, so I'm rigging this one up with the bunker. Let me go ahead and get this out and uh, show you what I caught already. Oh, the fish on? What? Dude, I was reeling in my bait. I got one. Holy moly. Check it. I didn't even know I had a fish. All right, fish number one. Didn't even realize that I was a, uh, whew, jeez. Didn't even realize I was hooked up. I got this uh, cool looking baby shark thing right here. I think, I think it's called a dogfish, maybe. I'm not sure you guys can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. All right, here's fish number one. See you, buddy. That's interesting, these guys are going right in my lines. Oh. Come on, man. Don't go across my lines. Well, that's pretty interesting. The surfers decided to launch right next to my fishing line when, as you can see, there's the entire beach completely open. Man, I wish Flair was here because, seriously, you don't own the water, bro. Blair, where you at, man? I need you to kick some ass for me. People are just walking all over these lines. They could take like three steps to get around it, but I guess they just want to play limbo. Guys, check this out. I just reeled in my bunker rig, and look at this bobber. The bait's gone, and this float has some insane teeth marks. This is some really hard foam right here. I can hardly make a dent myself. There are teeth marks all over this thing. I think I just missed a uh, pretty big shark. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish on this one. Touch the hook with my hand. All right. So fish on. Fish on. Hopefully it's still on. I think I have a fish on here. Oh yeah. There's a fish on here. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fish number two. I'm gonna have to call it in soon. I'm gonna have to pack it in because uh, a pretty big storm coming on the blood worm. 
So for a bow fish, this is a, seems like a good fish. Let's see what we got here. And we've got, oh, it's another dogfish. Man. Another shark thing, man. All right, buddy, gonna let you go. Right, I gotta get out of here, guys. It's raining way too hard. Let this buddy, let him go. I'm gonna try to come back out probably tomorrow morning. Oh, fish! Minnow just washed up. This is gonna be, this is gonna be used as bait. All right, uh, this is going on the hook. I don't know what it is, but it's getting used up. Yeah. Leave the blood worm on. We'll go with the double right here. All right, let's get it out there. I think we I would, we need artificial baits. I think. Oh, I got a hit. Oh, big hit, big hit. Oh, I got him. I got him. He's on. He's on. I'm setting the hook. Fish on. He's on. Yep. I got him. He's on. I got him. I got something. We're back out here. It's the evening. Out of my girlfriend. Let's see what we got. Got him on the bunker. Oh, it's a dogfish. Another dogfish. Yeah. Let this dude go. Oh yeah, of course. You wanna take a look? A little baby shark. Cute. You can touch his tail if you want. Touch his tail is fine. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I'd right, let you go, buddy. Six foot. Six foot. That's what I'm hoping for. Damn, a lot of bait, baby. Holy moly! The bait glitz out there. All right, guys. It's a feeding frenzy out there. I took off. I took off the live bait with going artificial. Uh. You see, you see the minnows? The minnows are everywhere out here. Oh, seagull! No! Yeah! No, get out of my face, seagull! These are like the geese of the ocean! So that's it for the beach fishing portion of this video. The good news is I managed to catch a few fish. The bad news is they weren't really super cool, but uh, I was mainly on vacation there with my girlfriend. So I only had a limited time to fish, two hours in the morning, one hour in the evening. But uh, the next time I head out to the beach, I will definitely spend more time learning the fish to surf and hopefully catching a really cool big saltwater fish. Uh, until then, Enjoy some of this uh, bonus footage of my last collaboration with Bam and Bass. I still got some uh, pretty cool content I've yet to post, and uh, this will be a little teaser of what's to come sometime in the future. Here's the bait the bass are feeding on. Here's what we're throwing. It's gonna be a slay fest. Got him. Nice. Bam and Bass hooked up. A white Kai Tech. First one. I take swing impact, four inch, eco pro tungsten, free swinging jig head. Got him. Nice little chunk. There you go. All right, so. Got him. Kai tech. Little guy. Shallow. Let me take this shad. I've been there all day, haven't I? Look at that, look at that belly. Wait, this, this one might be kind of deformed. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Slightly deformed tail. Yeah. Ah, nice. This one. Got him on chatterbait. There we go. Tough getting bites now. A little guy. A little chunk. Got more wind. Still cloudy. Switch from the uh, switch Kai Tech onto a chatterbait. That's the great thing about this bait. Very versatile. You can swim it, jig it off the bottom, use it as a trailer. 
nice two pound chunk right here. Look how fat this, this thing is eating well. Man, it's fat fish. Got him. There we go. Chatterbait. Another little guy. Oh, actually, this one's a little better. A little chunk. All right, we're getting on something now. Whew. Wanted it. Whew, feisty. Chatterbait, classic conditions. Kaitik trailer, paddle tail. Whew. See ya. Here's a close up of the Kaitek Swing Impact 4 inch swim bait. Let's go ahead and take one out. Super soft plastic, which means it's going to have a much better action. But that also means that its durability won't be quite as good. I believe it's scented. Ooh, yeah, definitely has a uh, kind of smells like smells like a kind of a squid scent, made in Japan. Uh, John Beal like that, and uh, it has this uh, rib design, which gives a little different action as opposed to other soft swim baits. Um, a little more disturbance in the water, good for skin hooking. Nice color right here, kind of a white ice, clear on top, pearl on the bottom. Definitely a solid bait, and if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. You can fish it weightless. Uh, you can jig it on the bottom. Uh, do a straight retrieve over grass. Chatterbait trailer, swim jig trailer. It's got plenty of uses, and it catches fish. Mm -hmm.